Greetings. Got an LGR blurb here on this uh, thing from DeSalvo Systems. Yeah, this is going to be a Raspberry Pi housing with that model right there. Uh, yeah, this is something I had seen in some YouTube videos. I think it was ETA Prime was the first one I saw this. And uh, he has a Raspberry Pi 4 case made out of solid aluminum. The case can get hot. Yeah, that's sort of the whole idea. Uh, this is meant to be one of those things where the case itself is the heat sink cooling situation for a Raspberry Pi 4. And I've been meaning to put another one of those together because I bought a couple of them for some different projects and, um, <laughs> well, look at this thing. It is a solid block of aluminum just like milled down and I just thought it looked really cool. And I like the whole idea of having it being a passively cooled thing with, you know, not having to put like little heat sinks inside or fans or anything. And the fact that it's just, you know, metal. Uh, this is just a, I don't know, eye-catching case. It's got some heft to it. And it's a nice alternative to all the other kind of cases that I've messed with. You know, the injection molded ones, 3D printed ones, and all sorts of other things. Even wood, you know, I've messed around with a lot of different cases over the years for Raspberry Pis, but this one. It's just got a unique look to it. Solid. So yeah, let's see here. Apparently the thermal interface material is only for the 2 gig version. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, it should be pretty simple. <laughs> it just kind of goes together. I'm not doing like GPIO stuff or anything like that. So, uh, so of course, what we're going to be putting in here is a Raspberry Pi 4. Let me make sure I got one of those. Yeah, right here. I got one of these that I ordered a while back and I uh, just haven't done anything with it yet. This is one of the 4 gig ones. I think there's like an 8 gig now, but... Uh, and you see how it comes with these little... It's actually got little heat sinks in there. Uh, yeah, normally you'd put those on there. The whole idea of this is that the whole case is the heatsink. So we don't really need these in here. In fact, I don't think it'll even fit with those because this is designed to just go straight up against it. So let's just uh, set this aside for the moment and get this, this opened here. Little tiny screws. <laughs> Little tiny rubber, rubber bumper feet there. Look at that. Okay, neat. I don't even know if we need the screws even because, again, from what I was seeing in some of the other videos and coverage and whatnot, it's so uh, just packed together so tightly inside here that it just kind of holds everything in place anyway. So I don't know. I'll probably put screws in just because, but we'll see. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with like just solid aluminum, aluminum billet. Wood grain and aluminum especially go really nice. You know, I've always liked that sort of aesthetic with 70s, like hi-fi and whatnot. Yeah, look at that. So the other way that works. So these are just gonna go on top of some of the chips on the Raspberry Pi 4. Yeah. And that just sort of sets down in place there. We have a little bit of thermal paste that we can use. And there we go. So you can see the way that that's gonna just line up with some of the things on there like this. Doink. <laughs> and then this whole thing just dissipates heat. So this just pretty much sets right there. And that's it. And see what I mean about like, you don't really even need the screws necessarily because it is in there, man. It is not. So do we even need the screws? Yeah, I'll put them in there just, just because sake of completeness and all that. They're not just like small overall, they're just short too. <laughs> Barely does anything, but that's cool. Gives an extra air of tidiness and completeness to the whole thing, I suppose. <laughs> Clonk. All right, let's see here. Let make sure there's nothing stupid that I'm missing in the instructions. Stupid on my part, not the instructions part. So all we need though is the, yeah, just a tiny bit of thermal grease and you sandwich it together. 
a tiny amount that says in all caps, so we will do that. And the design uses the natural spring in the circuit board to make solid pressure between the chips and the top cover. And take an alcohol wipe here and just do that. Sort of spread it out lightly, it says. So. Sure. Yeah, I can feel it just barely touching. But it is touching. It's got a little bit of give. <laughs> yeah, dude. So check it out. Got a little SD slot insertion area there. And GPIO, you can like string through cables and stuff. You'd have to attach them before you put on the top, of course. But that's that. Now the I.O. right here, USB ports and Ethernet. And of course you have your... USB sections over here for charging things and get the video and all the ports, man. Let me get some software on the SD card and plug it in. See how it goes. Oh wait, no, no, no. We gotta do a little teeny feet. <laughs> little teeny feet. Nice. Look at this thing. <laughs> all right. Now let's get some software on the SD card or actually have an SD card with software already on there. And just see how that is. Ooh, that's nice. Got the rubber. All right, you got to get the micro SD card installed in here. And you know, this is actually one of the few complaints I have about this case. Really, is getting the card out. Going in is okay, of course, but it's getting it out that's a bit tricky because there's basically no space to grip onto it. So you need some tweezers to pull it back out. I wish the Raspberry Pi had a, a way so you could push it in there and have a little little eject spring or something to push it back out, but. It doesn't, but whatever. It's in there. Got a basic RetroPie installation on this SD card. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna plug in the micro HDMI and USB type C power right here. And we should be getting a display on my TV. And there we go. Yay, Raspberry Pi things. <laughs> I honestly haven't messed with the Pi 4 nearly as much as I have like the one, two and three. Uh, just because I was waiting for some better software support and in more recent months, or I guess, I don't know, late last year, whatever, things started getting a little better for the 4. Um, and now there's like an 8 gig version of it, so I kind of want to try one of those two, but not that I have much reason to do so, because even the 3 was more than good enough for what I want to do on here, at least in terms of like RetroPie and emulators and stuff. I mostly just want to play PlayStation games. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, like I said, basic installation going here. Got Crash 2, the only thing you need. Uh, whatever, it's just the only one I have installed right now because it's just a fresh installation. So yeah, I just have a PS4 controller going right there. And there we go. It's a Raspberry Pi running PlayStation games. <laughs> That's what they do. Of course, what I do with them. All right. And now I'm just gonna play some Crash 2 because whatever, is this a case? The case is fine. It looks great and it dissipates heat. And that's that's exactly what I wanted. And I like that it's kind of heavy too because my other cases, they were uh, you know sliding around even with rubber feet on the bottom. This one has some heft to it. So it really just stays put uh, below my TV there. So that's awesome. I was kind of hoping for uh, that <laughs> and there it is so nice case i dig it it's also really warm uh as it should be it's dissipating heat that's the whole idea but man does it get warm <laughs> i don't have like a way to measure the temperature of it unfortunately but it it, it gets absolutely hot to the touch and that's not even overclocked i'm sure with overclocking it'd be like roasting over there but uh yeah i'm not even gonna mess with overclocking at least not right now i'd like to in the future i've never done it with a pi 4 i don't know if it's any different or like what the tolerances even are i need to look into that um but i've seen um some folks try it with this case and it seems to be you know quite awesome at it so uh yeah But you know, that's the whole idea. Keeps the pie running cool and quick and 
and it looks awesome. <laughs> if you like the whole brushed kind of uh, machine aluminum anesthetic, which if you don't, man, I don't understand. I think it looks great. But then again, you know, then again, I like DeLoreans and <laughs> Tesla Cybertruck. I think those look great. So <laughs> whatever, man. Uh, all right, what? Well, I guess I'm just playing Crash 2 now. Uh, that's, whoops. That's pretty much it for the card. The card, the case. It is a case. I'd recommend it, I guess. I mean, you know, if you're looking for this kind of thing, you know, not sponsored or whatever. I just bought it because I thought it looked cool and ran cool. And it, and it seems to. So, good times. I'd kind of like to see um, a more interesting design. I mean, I, I dig the honeycomb aesthetic, I guess, on top, but it'd be nice if it was like, uh, oh, I don't know, make it look like a weird spaceship. <laughs> or like, no, like a machined IBM PC or something. Yeah, now that'd be a cool case. I'm not gonna go in that. Oh, yes, I am. Okay, well. Ram. Let's just die. Yay. PlayStation games. Raspberry Pi stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch more games that I have on here now. Yep, that's it. It's a case. It's awesome looking. It does its job. Thanks for watching.